In this series, we've been talking about commercial roofing. I believe the last one we did was insulation. This one, we're going to talk about roof layout. In my classes, my care classes, I'm often asked, what is the right roof? There really isn't a right roof. It's what's right for that building uh, not, and, for the, and for the customer, obviously. Uh, there isn't a uh, one-size-fits-all, okay? We're usually doing, we're usually asked about a mechanical roof or a mechanically attached roof. How many half sheets? How high? How wide? Does it have parapet walls? Is there a drip edge? These are all questions that you have to ask yourself when you're going out looking at a roof to bid. What is the most effective way or efficient way, I should say, labor-wise, to put this roof on? So this brings us to our project in Maine. Uh, warehouse with an office in the front. We're doing the office this year. We'll probably tackle the warehouse next year. This office is about 30 square. It has a slight raised parapet wall. Uh, the wall around the outside edge is, I don't know, maybe a foot high. Uh, it can either be capped or up and over with a drip edge. Uh, makes it really easy. High wall in the back. I think we have two drains in a unit. So it's basically pretty wide open. So here's where a contractor would ask me, hey Dave, what's the best option? Let me give you three options for this. Number one would be picture framing. This is tried and true. This is what we've been doing forever. A lot of your uh, roofing contractors know how to picture frame. On this one, we would have two short half sheets. At the end of the day, we would cap, uh, cap the ends of the folds with a corresponding half sheet. It works, it works well. The nice thing about this is, at the end of the day, everything is covered. You do have a few more fasteners in this. More, remember, more fasteners equals more labor. Labor's more expensive than the fasteners and plates, so you have to figure that one in. The next one would be Rhino Bond Fingers, okay? With the Rhino Bond Fingers, we would have two short halves on either end of this particular roof. We would run our folds from the high wall out to the edge. That they would all be mechanically attached, but before you did that, before you rolled the sheets out, you would put your Rhino Bond in between the full sheets, running off the edge five foot because that's what our perimeter is. So every sheet, every full sheet, would have Rhino Bond plates and fasteners under the sheet. The nice thing about this is you're saving some labor. Uh, the Rhino Bond plates are a little more expensive than a regular plate. So you have to decide, do I want to spend for Rhino? Do I want to spend for regular? Okay. The third option is fingers on top of the sheet stripped in. Okay. So again, you have two half sheets on the short ends. You run your full sheets out to the edge. Now you take your regular plates and fasteners run them through the top of the sheet, then you would take an eight inch flashing strip and strip it in. That would be best done by the robot. That's the most efficient way to do it. Then you just have two little eight inch ends to hand weld. For this job, we decided to do this uh, where we put the fingers on top. So we put the fasteners on top, we flash it in with our eight inch flashing strip, ran the robot, did the ends with the hand welding, then, of course, we used the cut edge sealant on the cut edges. For us, in this particular instance, we felt that was the best way to go.